welcome to today. I'm here with happy, healthy Sophie. She's having breakfast. Are you feeling good? Yes. Yes. She looks good. She's back to normal. Still has a bit of a cough, but she's feeling good. I'm feeling good. I hope all of you guys are feeling good. Honestly and truly, I do because there's nothing worse than being sick like this girl. This girl is sick. Are you sick? Kind of. Well, talk to me. Let me hear your voice. Hi. Are you losing your voice? No, not now. Not now? She's been sucking back lozenges all morning. She's been coughing half the night. She's been feeling terrible. She's been feeling sick. Just love this guy. Are you sick? Yeah, I'm sick now. I got the cold. So it's true. Everybody's sick except for me and the dogs and so far Nick. Nick is like Sophie. He gets sick. <laughs> Seems like anybody who has lung problems and they get a cold, it really knocks them down. But, cross your fingers, I'm not sick. If I get sick, the whole world will end because I'm not a good sick person. We decided to do something super fun and amazing this weekend. So we rented a hotel room so that we could hang out, watch our show all weekend, and just be together in the same room all night. And here it is. This is our hotel room. We got the puppies, we got the girls, we got the ruby. The girls and I slept downstairs last night. Whenever we do, we bring our mattresses down, right? And these are two separate mattresses? Yeah, and Gabby is way too cool to sleep in the same bed with me and Sophie, so she has to have her there's own no mattress. Room. Yeah, there's no room. So I sleep here, Sophie sleeps here. We always sleep together, Sophie and I, and Gabby always has her own little spot over here. And it's a ton of work bringing the mattresses down and even more work taking them back up, but it's always so fun for us. And even though my living room is gonna be a super mess for the whole entire weekend, it's more important that we do something together and have fun. What about the show we've been watching? We found a new show. It's called Once Upon a Time. Have you guys seen it? It's so good. And uh, in the movie, there's this evil queen. Who does she remind you of? Uh, you. <laughs> I knew you would say that. <laughs> All mothers are evil queens and don't you forget it. <laughs> oh, and uh, let's see, Sophie is like Cinderella, right? And who would you be? She's the evil queen's daughter, the evil queen number two, <laughs> right? Who would you be? Let's ask. A horseback rider. All right, let, let us know. We want to know in the comments below if you could be a fairy tale um, person, if you could be a fairy tale person. character, who would you be? Um, I don't think I'd be the evil queen. I think I would be, I think I'd be like Snow White. No, I'd be like Snow White. Oh my gosh. <laughs> who would you be? Actually. Actually, that's a lie. I totally know who I am. I'm my f I would be my favorite storybook character and uh, that is Belle. not Belle. I love Belle from Beauty and the Beast because she's a strong woman and she is kind and loving but she always stands up for the for the the right thing. Think about it. Who would you really be? Snow White cuz I love animals. Yeah, I definitely think you'd be Snow White. Well, I'd be Snow White. You're Snow White too, but you're somebody different. I think you're like Cinderella. Cinderella has animals. Cinderella talks to all the animals. Remember, they built her, they made her a dress, a wedding gown. She's in touch with all the animals and she's oh, beautiful yay. and she's kind. I'm so right? Yeah. So that's who we are. I would be Belle, Gabby would be Snow White, and Sophie would be Cinderella. Dad would be the evil queen. Dad would be the evil queen? Yeah. I think Dad's like the huntsman. Yeah. You think that's like the Huntsman? I don't know what the Huntsman is. Remember, he was going to get Snow White's heart and then he let her go free because he's too soft hearted and he loves wolves and he loves animals. That's who I think dad would be. I just shot a video on All About Cookie video. Hopefully, it'll be up on this channel as you're watching this. Um, it's been requested. In fact, I'm going to do another All About Macy video. I shot it on my new camera. I was showing you guys the other day. I got this new microphone. We took it to the barn the other day. I don't know if you guys um, noticed, but the quality of our, video, of our video was terrible. We have this new um, microphone. It has to be turned on before 
it will before it will work and when we went to the to the barn the last time a couple like a couple videos ago we used the microphone and forgot to turn it on so um it didn't work but i even remembered today but the thing that i really like about it is that when we're at the barn and the microphone is on you guys can hear what i'm saying as well as what fiona is saying you ready to go shopping no buddies jumping on the bed. No monkeys jumping on the bed. Let's go. Let's get our stuff on. All right, you guys. I got a message from Amy at Standard Equestrian today, and I wanted to share with you an update. A lot of you guys were vested in what happened with those horses that were at risk um, last weekend. We put a video up. If you haven't seen it, I'll post it right here so you know what I'm talking about. Basically, uh, she says that... Um, the animal control and the bylaw officers have been at that barn around the clock. They've been assessing animals. Unfortunately, the vets were not called out. I understand because um, that can be a really expensive endeavor and um, it's unfortunate that they weren't able to be called out. But basically, Animal control and bylaw have been out about a dozen times or more since October. Animal control even admitted that they should have flagged the OSPCA with it back then. Um, as far as she can see, nothing is being done. That one horse with the no muscle on the bum, he's straight orange, not even yellow. It's pathetic. They are choosing to keep an eye on the horses and if they continue to be neglected, then they will continue to take action. So basically what it sounds like is that they are just going to monitor them. They are giving them an opportunity to change what they're doing. They're giving them a chance to fix the horses. Hopefully they are able to step up and take care of the horses and, and, and get them where they need to be. If not, it sounds like they will eventually be removed from the property if nothing changes. So I just wanted to thank you guys for any of you guys that were able to call in and um, get them moving on this and I think that it's important to say that Amy at Standard Equestrian, her, that's her YouTube channel, um, it was really hard for her to speak out because she had a lot of people against her saying that she was stalking the people and it wasn't just her alone, it was um, the barn that she goes to, her her instructor, the barn manager, it was all the people that are surrounding these horses that were trying to fight for them. And she got, a, she met with a lot of resistance and she stood strong and she kept on fighting for them. And I think that that's a really important thing to say that um, bravo to her for standing up even when it was really hard for her. Wow, there must be like some kind of a special thing today at TSC. You get free popcorn. I Dad's gonna be sad he didn't come in. Can't do this free popcorn. We are at TSC and we are looking for bunny stuff. While eating we popcorn. While eating popcorn, the guy said that they just set it up last night. I feel like God is telling me not to buy shavings from here because the guy keeps telling me where they are and I cannot find them at all. Sophie and I just finished cleaning the bunny hutch. Sophie did it with me today because. Um, she made a video so go check that out I'm sure it's up on her channel or if it's not it's about to be the thing that you guys don't understand about us a lot of people were complaining before saying your girls are gonna grow out of horses and then you're gonna sell your horses don't get a horse and the thing you guys don't understand about us is that um, my kids love animals and they like to be around them they might not necessarily like to do all the cleaning and all the chores that come with them but I do I could sit here all day and clean the bunny cages I could clean the kind of bunny cages every other day and never get bored I could clean the horses stalls every other or every single day and never get bored because it's what I like to do it's what I love and I just love watching them Tell me in the comments below whose bunny is that? All right, guys, we are at the arena watching our friend do a figure skating competition. Anyway, whoops, Gabby is looking super sick. We, yeah. Anyway, we are gonna watch this. We've never been here before.
have our hot chocolate with whipped cream on top. <coughs> Gabby did not have whipped cream on the I top. I hate whipped cream. And Sophie has whipped cream like mama, right? I don't have any. She left hers in the other room. We are home and ready to sit down and watch our show. And sleep. It's become our nightly tradition. Last night I was editing so late that by the time we got done, at our sh or by the time I got done, we could only watch one show. Anyway, we are gonna end today's video. I love all the advice that you guys give and all the comments that teaches stuff on our on our channel, but I also really like hearing your guys' story. So today's comment of the day is from Alida. Alid. E I L I D H Simmons. Ida. I don't know how to say it. Ida. Anyways, she says, Adia. Um, good luck finding a horse in a farm. P.S. My name is Alida Simmons, and I'm from near a small village called Tom and Tool in Morayshire, Scotland. Okay, I, I can't read that stuff. <laughs> Obviously, I messed that up, but that's where she's from in Scotland. And I live on a farm and I have five sheep, four dogs, 20 chickens, two rabbits, and one cow. Wait, 20 chickens? 20 chickens. I'd have one chicken on 10,000 oh, 10, horses. One chicken, Sophie says you should have one chicken and 10,000 horses, right? Yeah. Um, I'd have chickens too, we used to have chickens. Yeah. One of our chickens was like, I loved her and she loved me. She just like, um. Whenever I went in the coop to um, get her, she'd just stay where she is and let me pick her up. Yeah, we loved our chickens. So, okay, so she has five sheep, four dogs, 20 chickens, two rabbits, and one cow. On the farm, they have, she has 850 sheep, 40 cows, and we are soon getting another puppy. Her name will be Kiwi, and she's a sheep dog. She's going to be our first sheep dog to live in our house. Our other three live in kennels. The other dog we have called is Maisie and she's a border terrier. She lives in the house, she is small, but she can jump up onto a big round hay bale. I love all your animals. My favorite is... Macy? Probably, probably Toby. Ruby! Oh, I also forgot to mention that I'm 13 and I have 175 Schleich horses wow. and I also have four Schleich stables two homemade stables and loads of paddocks. I make tack too and I really want to send some to you but I never get around to asking my mom. Thank that you. That would be great if you could. <laughs> yeah. That was such an amazing comment. I love hearing your stories. I would love to go to Scotland. I would love to live in Scotland. It's so beautiful there. Yeah, like, isn't it all green? green? It's so green. Green is my favorite. And all those animals she has. Isn't that an amazing life? I wanna see. Wait, did she have it's cows, no horses. horses. If you don't, if you guys don't know, you can actually ride cows. Yeah, you can. You cannot ride cows. <laughs> yeah, people have done it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are crazy. huge, not tiny. All right, that is it for today. We are. Um, people do like this girl I saw on it. Her parents wouldn't buy her a horse, so she bought a saddle and bridle and put it on a cow, and then the cow jumped two feet while the trees are riding. That's crazy. And then a different girl, her parents can buy her a horse, so she rode, um, it looks like a Palomino cow. Um, her name is Lilac, and she could jump like two or three feet. That is cool. Anyway, that is it for today. We are headed she back to the barn tomorrow. She also ride donkeys. Okay, okay, let me end the video. Anyway, that's she it for today. We will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.